Miles Garrett, uh, I go sleeveless for one game, and they hit me with a <laughs> you got a random drug test in the morning. Uh, I don't think he needed to go sleeveless for us to realize the guy was huge. <laughs> My God, he was he was about to pop out of his suit when he showed up at the draft. So, uh, look, random drug test is random, and I don't think anybody said, gee, look, Miles Garrett is muscular. We should drug test him, but he was just having some fun, and we're going to have some fun as we open up the PFTPM mailbag. Tom Marshall, otherwise known as A Red Zone Alk, wants to know if we think the Steelers would be better off, Shireen, with Cam Newton at quarterback. What do you think? Well, he'd certainly improve their running game, I would think, right? That's what they need right now because they're not running the ball very well. But I don't know how much he would help this team, Mike. I think a healthy T.J. Watt perhaps will help them more uh, than getting Cam in there, especially at this point in the season. But they are going to have to think about the future, and they haven't planned for that, that. And I think that's a mistake on the Steelers' part. I think he was talking about the Steelers last week when Miles Simmons said on the Wednesday edition of this show that not even Jesus would have time to throw behind the Steelers offensive line (laughs) right right now. So, so, uh, yeah, I don't think Cam Newton is going to make much of a difference. That offensive line is the problem. Now, if you had a guy that was more adept at avoiding pressure and – and could buy some time with his legs. And you know, even then, it's not going to be easy if you don't have the blocking. It's just that Roethlisberger is old, and he's beaten down, and he's going to get broken in uh, multiple spots before this is all said and done. Jeremy York, otherwise known as the Impact 99, of all the possible teams looking to upgrade at quarterbacks next year, why are we not talking more about New Orleans? The answer at quarterback is not Jameis Winston or Taysom Hill. So could they be in play for a veteran like Matt Ryan or Russell Wilson or take – a shot on drafting one. I think there's a name that should be added to that list. I think Aaron Rodgers would have to be intrigued yeah. about a potential partnership with Sean Payton. Can you imagine Aaron Rodgers with Sean Payton? I think that would be a terrific football team. He'd be a perfect fit. I think that's a great place for him to end up. Now, if I'm the Packers, I'm not trading him to the Saints. I'm trying to find a different trade partner outside the NFC. But I think he would be great there. And they do have to look at quarterback, Mike, because neither one of those guys so far, Jameis has obviously taken most of the snaps at quarterback, but just hasn't been good enough so far. Last And, and look, I, I agree that they need to be thinking about something else. What that is, we'll see. There will always be, it seems like in today's NFL, a cluster of veteran free agents available mm-hmm. at the quarterback position every cycle. And we know that Sean Payton uh, – had his great success getting Drew Brees as a free agent back in 2006 when the Dolphins, doctor, I don't know my ass from a bag of sand. I think that's how Nick Saban described the doctor, decided not to pass Drew Brees on his physical and the rest is history. Good history for the Saints, bad history for the Dolphins. PFTPM Posse says, is head coach Mike McCarthy the (laughs) primary slash only reason that me and Shireen's Dallas Cowboys can't get respect in the power rankings. I don't even know where they are in the power rankings. Are they too low? I can't remember where I put them. I, I don't know where you do have them. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. they were. This is where we fill. I have them at 11. Is 11 I too ha- low? Yeah, 11's too low. I had them at five in mine. I think they're playing five. as good as any team in football right now. I had them at five. I mean, they're playing great. They, they should have beaten the Bucks and – they won their last four. They played some quality team. Look at the teams they beat, Mike. They beat the Chargers. How, do you have the chart? You don't have the Chargers ahead of them. Please tell me now. I've got the Chargers at eight. Chargers are playing better than the Cowboys oh. right now. No. Oh, Mike, I, no. I, I think putting them at five <laughs> is the equivalent of Drew Pearson shoving Nate right to the ground. <laughs> That's what I think. We've seen that happen. And I, and we don't want to see it happen on the way out the door today. I, you know, look, I, 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 uh, they, they'll have their opportunities to keep climbing. They will. They, they have some winnable games coming up, and their schedule is not all that difficult. I think they're going to be yeah. there. And I, I previously said I thought the ceiling was the divisional round for them. I'm willing to say now they may be able to get to the conference championship for the first Agreed. time since 1995, Shereen. I agree with you. I don't know if they can win as many games as they need to to get to a Super Bowl, but I do agree with you there. Buccaneers, hey, we'd love to see a rematch of that game. Cowboys-Packers, that would be awesome in the postseason. So uh, they're going to get there. The question is, what will they do when it happens?
Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.